Hey, I'm Steven Yonke here at the SEMA Central with Jason Bruce, Holly Performance, and of course also the MPMC Chair Elect. Uh, great to see you again. You know, about 20 years ago, I was building a Hemi dart. I drove out the hooker in Ontario. You handed me a set of headers for my Hemi for a magazine project. Thank you for that. No, no problem. <laughs> now, tell me a little bit about MPMC. What's it do? Well, the, the MPMC is the Motorsports Parts Manufacturer Council. Yeah. So inevitably, SEMA started out as a speed equipment market association. And, it, and as SEMA's grown, MPMC has kind of taken the old mantra. It's all the speed parts. And we work with all the different manufacturers in the industry to help improve their sales, help improve their business structures, help new businesses come into SEMA, and just give support to the manufacturers because it's really the backbone of the of the uh, industry. Yeah. What, what are the biggest challenges facing the performance aftermarket and of course the specialty market, not just right. speed, what are the challenges today? Well really, one of the biggest one, the big, the big elephant in the room is, is the you know, federal regulations yeah. and some of, the, uh, some of the legal issues that have been taking place. Uh, SEMA has done a great job of, of working with the different manufacturers and working with uh, the government to get, you know, get some reactions in place that are you know, preferential to the, to the industry. Uh, we as NPMC have activated hard with uh, the manufacturers in our area because some of these uh, racing laws and, and things of that nature have really hurt, uh, have the capability of hurting us. So we've really activated or tried to help activate with the NPMC members to really fight some of this kind of ridiculous legislation. I know Doug Evans, SEMA chairman, he says if you don't have a seat at the table, you're on the menu in Washington, you know, and I remember when I was at Hot Rod Magazine, a thing called Senate Bill 42, which you guys helped to defeat, yeah. which really allowed people to modify and enjoy their 75 up muscle cars and, and keep them small and legal, but it really, it, it helped to steer clear wrong-headed legislation. We have to remember that most of our cars get driven so little, they have minimal impact on anything negative. Right. And, and, and you guys are there fighting for the hobby. Yeah, absolutely, I mean, at the end of the day, this whole entire market is is pure Americana. This is one of the unique things about the United States is our hot rod hobby, our racing hobby, those type of things. And to to manipulate that or try to, you know, get rid of that is just yeah. unthinkable to us. And so yeah. we need to fight for those beliefs and that that character that we all have as part of SEMA. Yeah, it's our freedom. It's our individuality. Yeah, hey, we can all get along quite well. And I have to say, back to your roots. How did you get started with cars? Well, I was, you know, I, I didn't come from a traditional car background. My family was not involved in cars whatsoever. Uh, I was a child of the 80s and got in uh, Southern California area and got really heavily involved in the uh, the Cal VW bug phenomenon of like 86 to that's 88. Cars. That's yeah, cars. Yeah, so, so we, you know, that's what I could afford at the time. So I bought a 71 Super Beetle and made all sorts of crazy modifications and it was probably the most ugly thing on the planet. But progressively then, you know, built a combi bus, built a... 56 oval window, and then my first job out of in, in high school was it was at Pet Boys. I was a bike builder and an oil, you know, oil guy, doing that type of stuff. And then progressively earned enough money to buy a '69 Mustang. So then became the travel down the down the path, um, and then really got into the industry more in the mid '90s, working for Hooker Headers, and uh, that kind of started my career on into Holly and other brands. You know, it's funny, you know, I, I was born in 1964, my dad was an optical physicist, my mother was a graphic designer, and they have no idea where I came from. I'm a car kid, you know, I, it came out with Hot Wheels cars, matchboxes, models, that kind of thing. But again, I think you have the gene or you don't, but millions of us have the gene, of and you guys are here to help protect that and yeah, keep our rights. Abs up. Absolutely. I mean, look at the crowd that's here. It's a, it's a huge show with a huge amount of business and passion. and. I would put the passion of this industry up against any other industry that's that's out there. We all love our vehicles. It could be the most ugly thing or the most high performance thing or the most basic thing. It doesn't matter, the passion's still the same. And that that's America. I mean that's what it was all about to begin with, yeah. yeah. And in a nutshell, what do you see the future of SEMA? Where's it headed from here? Well I think I think the SEMA does a, a great job and they continue to expand their abilities to fight for us on the on the uh, legislative side. That's been very, very strong. I think with um, with, from a manufacturing standpoint, marketing and, and trends and things of that nature, um, SEMA is really helping manufacturers and other brands learn how to market in this type of environment. We share information, we, we talk about trends and talk about what's working, what's not working because it's really interesting to see marketing transition from one way of doing promotion to very heavy digital and social media and, and video and things of those, things of that nature. 
so SEMA, SEMA with the, the different groups help us, uh, help us as manufacturers get together, learn best practices. So I think they, you know, that's going to continue on. Well, Jason, I want to thank you for being with us here. How can our viewers learn more about the MPMC? Well, they can go to uh, SEMA.org, and then there's a, a, a committee section for MPMC, and you can check there and join and sign up. All right, well, thanks for being with us. There's a lot more here at SEMA Central. Stick around. Great.